Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, we will try to read some web pages and try to get the data from the web pages. Let's just suppose that we want to get the crude oil price update uh, every second from our page, some web page. So for that purpose, uh, let's just say I am using this page right now, Markets Insider, and I want to get this value uh, in our lab view VR. So what we are gonna use for this AI is the data sockets. So to use the data sockets, let's just go into our block diagram and let's just go to data communication and then data sockets. Let's just pin it in here and drag all the options like open data socket, uh, read data socket and then just close these data sockets. So uh to implement the url in here one thing that uh, is most important in here is that this crude oil um, this web pages um, data sockets doesn't support the https so what we need to do is we will just place our link in here but in this link what we are gonna do is we'll just gonna change its value basically so what we're gonna do the change in it is let's just remove the s from here and leave all the link in, in, in the form of constant so that it will become http uh, in, instead of https so since data sockets doesn't support https formats so <clears throat> now what we are gonna do is we will just uh, place a while loop around here and we're gonna connect it with our uh, read data socket and connect it in here and then connect it to the close in our data socket so i'll just create a control for the stop button and let's just create a constant of weight i think uh, the data socket uh, takes uh, three to five seconds to update but I will just uh, place 1000 milliseconds it means one second delay to the loop that whenever it will read uh, it will update us so right now as you can see the output is in the form of variant so we need to convert that variant to our to some particular output let's just say that our uh, mode is reading right now so what we are going to do is we need to change its output to the string so we are going to use the string output uh, sorry the variant output to something like say string if i can use a string constant in here i will just attach it to the type that will tell me right now that i will just use this variant so right now this will give me a string output so if i will create a string indicator in here create an indicator that will give me that will now i will hopefully that will give me the output in the form of reading the web page so right now it takes some time like i think five seconds to read all the data from the page so it is this is the information all the information that we get from the page what we need is we need this particular uh, value basically so how do we can get that particular value from this much data so for that purpose we will just go on to our web page and right click on it uh, right click and click on inspect this will bring us to the main body of the program and if we drop down this that will bring us to our particular this 70.02 that is being updated in here so what we can do in here is we can just uh, copy this uh, section of the code and then what we are going to do is we will go to string function and search and replace function 
then what we are going to do is we will connect to the input string and uh, for searching string we will create a constant and place our that particular section of the code in here and then this will give us the offset pass replacement so after that what we're going to do is we will again go to our string palette use string subset and give it to the offset path and then resulting string will be connected in here uh, instead of that let's just connect the output data in here and let's just see how what we are getting but we are not uh, given the length of its value let's say i am giving the length of 35 numbers right now 35 uh, sorry um, strings so if i run my program right now this is giving me the price section value and this is giving me uh, the correct value update right now so right again we just need this value only so i'll just again close this and go to again my block diagram and then again i can just uh, use the substring as again use the string subset and this time i can uh, I can exactly remove or I can just say uh, right now what I am getting is this value so I can just copy this part go again to my block diagram go to string and then again search and replace string so this will give me the exact uh, offset replacement so instead of replacement go to st search string and place or this function right here so now if I just create an indicator right now the resulting string will give me hopefully my value but still as I can see in here this replaces just uh, this value and give the output so delete this function again and copy this um, at a string subset connect it in here and connect the offset pass replacement to our offset path and create a constant of 5 let's say and create an indicator so this will most probably will give me my exact value so if I run my program right now this is correctly giving me the price of crude oil let's just check it this is right now 70.01 but this is giving me 69.97 let's just run the program again and let's see if it updates or not so as you can see in here right now this gave me the exact value 70.01 so it means that it is updating right now Thank you.